the announcement by the Taiwanese giant Foxconn that it will build an LCD manufacturing facility in Wisconsin worth an estimated $10 billion was met with considerable fanfare. But the state has a troubled history in matters of economic development, and the company, a supplier to Apple, Google, Amazon and other tech giants, has a lackluster record when it comes to fulfilling its promises. The news should raise red flags. The deal, backers say, will create 13,000 jobs in six years, in return for a reported $3 billion in state subsidies. Only 3,000 of those jobs will come immediately. Furthermore, the Washington Post has reported that Foxconn has a track record of breaking such job creation promises. In 2013, the company announced plans to hire 500 people and invest $30 million in Pennsylvania. The plan fizzled out. Wisconsin's Republican governor, Scott Walker, was elected in 2010 on a campaign pledge to bring 250,000 jobs to the state. So far he has fallen short. A successful Foxconn project would be a major step towards repairing his damaged credibility. On Friday, he had a rejoinder for doubters of the project. At a stop in Eau Claire he toured the state to promote the deal, the governor said, there's a whole lot of people out there scrambling to try and come up with a reason not to like this. I can tell you, that's fine but I think they can go suck lemons, life and death. In Apple's Forbidden City read more the plan has been touted as a big win not just for Walker, but also for House Speaker Paul Ryan, whose district is likely to host the proposed plant, and Donald Trump, 